All right, take a uh, three, I guess. Uh, so this is my third time recording this. Uh, there is an event coming up that uh, you're probably all too familiar with, and that would be the um, uh, event with Kiram. So. As I was um, uh, heading in my way over there, uh, I didn't uh, think that uh, the following cutscene would be uh, a problem, but it, uh, it sure was. Because it displays on both screens, so... Really, I get an encounter with a pile of swine. No. Come on. It's a... It's a... Alright. Let's turn this down. Alright. So. Yeah, the cutscene uses both uh, screens to display the uh, dragons, so... During the first recording, I panicked and uh, went around trying to readjust the size of the windows to try and fit everything in a organized way, and then just got fed up and uh, dumped the recording. Oh yeah, and here's where Curium tries to attack the player, which is like one of two times I can think of where a human has directed a Pokemon to attack a player in the games. I think the second time was like Lance's Dragonite and Pokemon Gold, Silver, Crystal. And the remakes, because that used Hyper Beyond Monthly Grunt. Which is awesome. Hey, Anne. And then the second recording was just like I noticed that the uh... Well, first of all, I tried to make another window that encompassed both of the uh, game windows, and they, uh, I tried to put that on, and then I noticed that as I started the second recording, I, uh, I got some really choppy frames, so I had to scrap that as well, so. Now that we're caught up, uh, here's Getsis with Kiram and the DNA Splicers. And, and coming in with Zekrom to quote-unquote save the day. And I'm just gonna let this play out. Uh, when the cutscene happens, I'll try and uh, adjust everything so that y'all can see it. And, uh, well, here we go. So... So, this can go... Oh, hello, Celeste. So, yeah, Kiram's trying to catch, uh, Zekrom, and it is ultimately successful, and this is where Zekrom just becomes a part of Kiram. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna leave it like this, because I think there's another cutscene where, uh, Kiram transforms. Yep, okay, good. I was correct. So, this is interesting. I, I think I talked about something that I already talked about in a different segment. Like, what would happen if the three dragons fused? Uh, I might, that might happen, like, with the Gen 5 remakes or Black 3, White 3, or whatever, you know, the related thing that Pokemon Company are inevitably going to talk about on the 27th on Pokemon Day. Yeah. If they do, it'll be something. Because we've never actually seen the, um, uh, completely fused dragon outside of a shadowy outline. 
Oh yeah, here's uh, here's Black Kiram. He uh, he sure is a dragon. He sure is electrical. Careful, Kiram Black. You might cause an electrical fire. All right. So I'm gonna bring everything back up now. Right. Of course they would. Let's just challenge him right now because I hate Getsus and I want to punch him in his stupid, stupid face. All right, so let's uh, let's knock down this mofo. So, so. Oh, I didn't I didn't heal Genray. Uh, that's probably not going to one hit KO me. But. So, the neutrally effective. Oh, oh, okay. So, am I still gonna win even though I'm paralyzed? Yep. Wow. How about that? <laughs> Genry always comes through for us, doesn't she? Uh, there is something I could rant about in Senra and Kagura New Link, but I won't, uh. Oh, okay, guess this doesn't even give me a chance to heal. Good. So... Gee, uh, having a hard time standing up, my guy? Oh no, I, I guess I'm fully healed. Alright, is Kafagragus going to use Curse on me? Because I bet it will. No, it's just gonna use Shadow Ball. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you you go ahead and do that. All right. So are we just going to sweep Getsus's entire team? Because I bet we aren't. I bet that stupid High Dragon he's got is just going to come out and like get rid of the rest of my health with like. Flamethrower. But just to, uh... Just to give myself as much of a fighting chance as possible. Okay, my special defense did not get lowered. Which is good. Oh, okay, now you're gonna use Protect. Fine. So are we gonna sweep Getsus' entire team? Well, with a maxed out attack, we probably are. Alright. Oh, Seismitoad. Yeah, well, uh, have fun. I forget if Getsus is, any of Getsus' Pokemon have Sturdy. Well, I know Seismitoad doesn't. <laughs> uh, no. We we do not learn such, um, uh, impotent moves. Oh, Drapian! The, the um, MVP of my, um, uh, Platinum run. I don't think Getsus had Drapian on his, um, a black one, white one, uh, team. Oh, well. Oh, Electros. So this thing has Levitate, I'm gonna use Iron Head. I know it's not very effective against the Electros, but... I still want hit KO'd at, even with a not very effective move. Toxicroak. Okay, now I know for sure you didn't have this thing on your moveset before. Alright, do you have Sucker Punch? Well, if you do, you didn't use it. 
Okay, so this idiot saved uh, Hydra again for last, which means I can use any of my remaining Pokemon to take it out. It should get Rayfall. So let's see. I remember Hydreigon had Surf and or Flamethrower last time. Does it still have those? Oh wait, I'm faster? What do you mean I'm faster? Hydreigon's not a slouch by any means. <laughs> and now gets us rants. Wow, I wasn't expecting that to be such a freaking sweep. Oh, save your breath, N. Yeah. I don't know why uh, Team Plaz, like, the Shadow Triad are so vile, but whatever. Yeah, and uh, Zekrom seems to be free. Yep. <laughs> Zekrom says thank you. And there's a shout out to Elder as well. I just kind of wish Elder was the champion still. Let's see you later. And it's Xavier. Alright. Uh, what else is in here? Alright, let's uh, turn the FPS back up. Because there's uh, no story related event left to uh, go over. There are wild Pokemon to deal with, but they don't matter. Not a lot of models on them all. Alright, so this is now not, not frozen. Oh. There's stuff to explore. Um, you know, I, I kind of want to see what that is. Am I allowed? Do I have to approach it from a different direction? It's kind of what it's looking like. Yeah, alright, fine. Can I, can I get through? It was just a PowerPoint up. Okay. Oh, is that rude of the, the Seven Sage of the Hemisphere? I don't, I don't know. You really want me to fight after all this, huh? The game is punishing me for wanting an item. Clearly. Yeah, I don't think there's a way to get that without, like, going on a world trip. Whatever, let's just talk to these douches. Okay, so Colrus disbanded Team Plasma? Sure. Well, good to know that you know your place. Alright, what's down here? Oh. Okay, uh, I had a Weevil on my party last time. Okay, so... I was... Oh my god. Solrock. We're only 14 minutes in. I can't end this segment now. There's... There's too little I've done. Yes, like... Battling Black Kyurem and, uh, gets us was not enough. I need... for I need closure. Oh boy. Okay, thanks. Uh huh, come on. Wait, I didn't fight this guy? Good lord. Well, I don't actually know where uh, Route 23 is. Did, did I just, like, completely pass it by, like, on my way back out here? I think I might have. Oh boy. Well, the thing is, I probably need to go heal up anyway, so. 
Okay. Moving on. It's a Pokemon breeder. I'm not gonna challenge you. Yeah, let's just go back to Himalaya City and heal up. Yeah, like, I was like, oh shit, I forgot to heal, and then I just went into the Gutsus battle with, like, everything healed back up. Uh-huh. Oh, the Metal Dude's back. Alright, what does Metal Dude have to say to us? Will he say something about, like, the world is constantly changing? Hustle? What? Okay, I don't- throughout this entire playthrough, I don't think I've checked this, like, maybe once. Middle Walker. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, Seymour, I made it, despite your directions. Okay. Ooh. Oh yeah, I have the new stupid thing on my microphone, which... It, 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 the, you know, the stupid foam thing on your microphone that makes it so that, like, when you, um, uh, whenever there's a noise, a sharp noise, it doesn't take it in. I don't think it, I don't know if it activated there. But... <sighs> Deli bird. Alright, I gotta get Ginry out of um, uh, first here because she's carried the whole team on her back essentially. And she, though she is a strong lass, uh, we need to have other people take a turn. And by other people, I mean other Pokemon. Uh, I'll probably do some like training in the meantime to make sure everybody's levels match hers. Y you saw that movement from the trainer, right? She like very sharply looked down and then back up. For a moment. Alright. <sighs> Going through the chasm again, trying to find Route 23. I don't know where that is. Is it this? Uh huh. I don't know where this is. It's Route 13. What am I doing here? Oh, so that's where that boulder led. Uh-huh, oh my god. Is this an Adina? No, it's a Vanillux. No. Facing an ice type with a flying type? Uh, that's, that's not going to happen. I think I've exhausted my, uh, my repel supply, so... Alright, trying to- oh, okay. No! Get off the bike. I hate it when I hit Y and, like... By accident. Okay. Uh-huh. And I just went in a circle. Great. Well, I need, at least I we had a nice little tour of the Grand Chasm. Aha. Uh -huh. And now I'm... Oh, God. Back where I started. Like, now that we're over 19 minutes, I think I'm going to end the video when I find the, the entrance to Route 23, because... I think we've got two more videos left in this playthrough. Like, one, one is the... Uh, Oh, well, I guess we found it. Yeah, like, so we're gonna end it here. Next video will be this route in Victory Road, and then the, I guess the final video will be the Elite Four and Champion, because I don't feel like going into bonus content for this game. So, well, next time, see more Super Luigi 64, so see you then.